Hi guys and welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are doing great. If you are new here, hi, my name is Dana and I am really, really glad to have you here today. In a previous video, I actually talked about some of my kindergartners' favorite, favorite games and activities when it comes to learning math. And I also mentioned in that video that we may or may not be doing the Good and the Beautiful Kindergarten Math Program this year. My kindergartner is just finishing up her final and last light unit for the CLE Kindergarten Program. I love this program. She did both Kindergarten 1 and 2, and I loved it. It is very thorough while also being very, very gentle, which is honestly what I look for in a kindergarten curriculum. Because in the little years, I just love that soft and gentle approach, but I also like that they're actually learning and growing in their education as well. If you're not familiar with the CLE program for kindergarten two, there's actually quite a bit of math in this program. So it's not just like the beginning phonics and letters and things like that, but it has a lot of math in it too. However, it does only go up to like the twenties. So here's an example of what you're going to find in this curriculum. It's going to have a lot of counting and a lot of activities, but like I said, it does not go above like those twenties and everything like that. So we actually are <laughs> going to go ahead and start the good and the beautiful math K. But as I mentioned before, we are doing all the hands-on math manipulatives and the games and activities and things like that. However, I did go ahead and print off the full PDF version, which is free by the way, so I will have that link down below if you want to go take a look at that for your family. I printed it out, I put it in a three-ring binder, and I was just going to put it on our shelf as like an optional thing, like if she wanted to do it. But she did see me print it out, and she's like, oh my goodness, that looks amazing and fun, so <laughs> we already started it. And because she already did like all the way up to her 20s in the previous curriculum, I think ideally we probably could have started at like lesson 25 and that would have picked up where she left off in the CLE curriculum. However, she did want to start back at the beginning and I'm going to insert a clip here of some of the activities that she has already done with the program, but she loves it so far. It's just really fun and simple. And because it was like a free, I say free, and I always say free lightly when it comes to downloading homeschooling curriculum because it does still does cost something in the ink and everything like that when you're printing something off. So there are pros and cons, just weigh them for your family and see what works best for you. But the initial download of this curriculum is free. And even if you don't print it off yourself, it is just a phenomenal way to see every single page in the curriculum before purchasing. I love that this company does that because a lot of the times, when I'm buying curriculum for my kiddos, there's only a couple of pages of samples and it doesn't give me a good, good, solid idea of kind of what the curriculum is. So typically when it comes to buying curriculum, I'm always watching videos like this, like flip through videos to see what the, what the book actually looks like. So I'm really thankful that they provide this resource for homeschooling families. And I believe that they provide the K through six absolutely free when it comes to their math program. And they also provide the K through six language arts as well, which by the way, I am actually gonna go ahead and do the new version of the Good and the Beautiful level K for my kindergartner. And she saw that and she's super, super excited. I do wanna show you a sneak peek, one second. I had to share this because we just got the curriculum in and this is the brand new, my first major reader and she loves this. I almost told, I told my husband, I'm like, I should have just skipped the course and ordered, <laughs> ordered all of the books because it's so, so simple and sweet and the illustrations, again, as with the whole curriculum itself are beautiful, but she's already reading this, which is phenomenal. So she's super excited about this program. I'm gonna put this away and get back on track here. But yes, the good and beautiful Math K. We're gonna go ahead and get into the flip through so this video is not too long. I am working with one hand, so I apologize if the flip through is a little shaky, but yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. So I did go ahead and print this off and I did go ahead and put it in a three ring binder. I found that just works better than having it, a bunch of loose leaves flying around, you know? <laughs> Especially with little people. But yes, the good and the beautiful Math K course book. This is a hundred chart. Let me grab it here so you can see. That actually comes with the curriculum and I just keep it in here with the binder so she has this to look at throughout all of the lessons if needed. So about the course, it's gonna have all of your supplies needed. Of course, there's your Math K course book, the Simply Good and the Beautiful Math K box. I do not have the Math Manipulative box. However, I found that typically we can do things like this without necessarily needing it. You will not be able to do 100% of the activities, but you can make do with what you have at your home and things like that. I'll show you kind of what I mean as we get into it. However, if you do have a more visual or hands-on learner, I do highly recommend picking up that box if you can grab it. But anyway, so your pencil, crayons, whiteboard, 
things like that are your necessities for doing this course and then your 10 pennies, nickels, and dimes. So I love how this curriculum has a complete unit overview for every unit. It gives you an idea of kind of the new concepts that are going to be taught per unit. So on the first unit, you're going to be identifying numbers 0 through 20. This is why I mentioned in the beginning of the video that ideally we could pick up at lesson 25 because that's what she's ready for after her CLE program. But she does love doing all the busy work. So we are starting at the very beginning and it's going to have all the new concepts here. It's going to have a section here so we, you gather up the extra supplies which is a fruit snack or some small food item, and then three small objects in nature for the unit one overview, and that's everything that you provide for this course. So she did already complete the first couple of lessons here and has thoroughly, thoroughly been loving it. So she did lesson three, one, two, and three so far, and then she did lesson four, which is up here, and then she was ready for lesson five. She did do the first four lessons all in one day. The lessons are very short. They're typically one, maybe two pages, and she did four in one day, and typically she probably wouldn't have done that if she hadn't already known the numbers. So once we get, like I said, to that lesson 25, she'll probably slow down to doing one maybe two a day depending on what she wants to do um, but it's very very simple very gentle and I do love how sweet it is as well so there's a lot of activities again the illustrations are beautiful there's poetry throughout there's some really fun activities throughout lesson seven and then you have some fun little bird activities and I also love how they do spatial reasoning activities as well, which is really important for those kindergarten years. So I love that. And on each lesson, it's going to have practice items the child has not mastered yet. So you have to count to 20, identify the colors below, memorize a parent's phone number, and things like that. So we actually did that activity, I believe it was lesson three. So we've been memorizing important things like that. The 10 sticks part one, and I love how they do this too because once they get this concept down, then teaching place value later on will be much easier. The counting to 30 practice, so by lesson 15, they've counted up to 30 and have done activities about that. Lesson 16 here, they're introducing addition, which is great. Counting to 40 practice, zero and number 12, so they're introducing the concept of zero. They're introducing tally marks. Now, tally marks is something that she has not done yet, so this will be a brand new concept to her. So if you are coming out of the CLE kindergarten program and your little one's not quite ready for that first grade yet, especially in the math level, this is great because, it, again, it's a specific math course, so it's going to focus on just math, whereas in the CLE curriculum, it's a little bit of everything, you know? So tally marks will be a first thing, a first-time concept for her. And introducing the days of the week, which we kind of do in our morning time area. Number line practice, again, this will also be a brand new concept for her. Different ways to make five. student will do addition up to five, count by tens, count to a hundred, what is equal and not equal, and identifying numbers zero through 110. They're going to go through months and then different place value and everything like that. So that's unit two. This is this fell out of the binder already. So I'm going to slide that up there. visual their place value is. I like the concept and kind of how they teach it a lot better than other curriculums do as well. Now CLE, the grade one math also does a phenomenal, phenomenal job of teaching place value. I definitely love how they do it as well. Clocks around the world game. I love that they do this because a lot of different math curriculums, even the one that my son is doing when it comes to their time, they don't actually teach about the different times around the world. Just kind of teach you how to read the clock. It's not teaching you, hey, there's different time zones in each part of the world. So I do love that concept, and it's a visual representation of exactly how that works. 
So you will probably need some pattern blocks. You can get them anywhere. I'll have my favorite set that I have linked down below if you want to take a look at them. But if you use pattern blocks, there's a lot of different activities up here for different ideas of how, how to use those. So definitely recommend picking up those if nothing other than to use them for this curriculum, but they're great, great fun outside of curriculum as well. Hey, honey. What's that, baby? We caught a little bit of glitters. Awesome. Not too much. We caught one big fish. Yeah. By lesson 81, they're doing counting by twos. You okay, baby? Four. Play two. Awesome. Five ones. so much for being here and for watching today's video I hope you enjoyed kind of seeing the flip through I know my little one is so so excited which makes me as a homeschool mama like super excited as well anyway I probably will go ahead and do a little bit of an unboxing and reveal of the actual the new good and the beautiful kindergarten level because I do like and again this video is not about that so I should probably stop talking but I do love how they changed it and how much more gentle it is in comparison to the last one but We'll get into that in my next video. Until then, I hope you guys have a great one and God bless. Bye.